Hi, welcome to another tutorial. We hope so that you have liked our previous tutorial about the CB dog. As you have seen that the CB dog is a very easy tool to carry out the docking and the CB dog is using the Vena at its back end. Now to perform the docking in a CB dog, you need to have a two things. The one is a three dimensional structure of the protein in the form of PDB file. Well, the second one is a structure of the ligand in an SDF format or in a PDB format. Now we have seen in previous tutorial that how we can get the three dimensional structure of the protein from the protein data bank or if the structure is not available in the protein data bank, how we can design or how we can predict the three dimensional structure of the protein by using the homology modeling or using the threading technique from the ITESER server. Now let's talk about the three dimensional structures of the ligands. Millions of the ligands which are already available. And during the drug discovery experiment, when the virtual screening is carried out, normally these ligands are utilized. Zinc-15 is one of the largest repository or the database of these ligands. Normally, the ligand structures are downloaded from a Zinc-15 database. In this tutorial, we will try to understand that how we can use a Zinc-15 database to download the three-dimensional structures of our ligand. So this is a main interface of Zinc-15. As you can see it here, that there are a number of the things which are available here at this interface. At the top of this interface, you can see some buttons, including substance, catalog, franchise, biological, and the more. In this tutorial, we will talk about the substance and we will talk about the biological one. Let's assume for a moment that you want to download the three-dimensional structure of a substance. So you need to click on this substance and when you will click on this substance, you will be on this page. Here on this page, there is one drawing panel as you can see it here. And as well as you can write down the name of your ligand. For example, I'm interested to download the three-dimensional structure of dopamine. So I will write down here dopamine and as I will hit the enter button you can see it here the structure of the dopamine will appear here in a drawing box I will scroll down below this drawing panel there is a search with option and I will click on this drop down button there is an option by default similarity with 40 similarity 30 substructures and smarts if we click on this by default button, so then the search will begin and we will have the exactly similar structure from the zinc database. This is a dopamine structure which is available in a zinc database. A lot of information which is associated with the dopamine is also available here. If we want to download the three dimensional structure of the dopamine, then I need to click here and then I need to click on this SDF file and I will click on this SDF file so then the three dimension structure will be downloaded here in my system. Let's assume for a moment that rather than having just a dopamine three dimensional structure I am interested to have the similar structure like the dopamine as well. In this case we will write down the dopamine or we will draw the structure of the dopamine in this drawing panel. We will scroll down and here we will click again on this drop down button. When we will click on this drop down button, then we will click on this similarity 40 or similarity 30. Similarity 40 and the 30 means that what will be the cutoff value of the similarity of the compounds related to the dopamine. In this case, we are going to click on similarity 40. And when we will click on this similarity 40, the search will begin. And after the few moments, all of the structures which are related to the dopamine present in the zinc database, they will appear in front of you. As you can see it here, all of these structures will be in a decreasing order of similarity. Highly similar structures will be present first. Gradually, you are going to find out 
the decreasing level of the similarity. As you can see it here, that the first compound, which is an exact match, is going to have a similarity score of 100% or the 1. The second compound is going to have a similarity score of 0 0.69 and then 0 0.67 and so on and on. Let's assume I want to know that how many compounds among them are commercially available so that I can purchase them. In this case, I will click on this drop down button. And I will click on this drop down button. I will have a list. In this list, I will click on this for sale. When I will click on this for sale, so then the sorting will begin. And after a few moments, I will have a list of only those compounds which are commercially available and which are purchasable. Now let's assume for a moment, I want to download all of these commercially available structures in my system for the virtual screening. In this case, I will click on this button. When I will click on this button, there will be a list of the formats. Here I will click on this SDF. When I will click on this SDF, then all of these structures will be downloaded in my system and that will be available for the virtual screening. Now let's explore the biological button. If we will click on this biological button, then we will have a menu. That menu will have an organism, major target classes, minor target classes, gene, orthologs, and some other things. What does it mean by? Let's try to understand it. We are going to claim major target classes. When we will click on this major target classes, we will have this window. That's very strange. There is nothing. Don't worry. We will click on this browse button. And when we will click on this browse button, so then we will have then we will have a table. Here in this table, there are the 15 major biological structure against which the chemical compounds are present in the zinc database. For example, the nuclear receptors, for example, the membrane receptors, for example, the surface antigen, the transcription factors, and etc. And et in case of the transcription factors, there are the 53 genes against which there are 383 substances are present in the zinc database. Among these 383, the 74 substances are purchasable. Along with the genes, we are also going to have an idea about the possible orthologs. For example, for the transcription factor 53 genes, there are 108 orthologs. We assume it that you will have a good idea about the orthologs at this stage. Let's assume I want to get an idea that what type of the transcription factor genes are present here. So we will simply click on this number. And we will click on this number. We'll be on the next page having a table. And in this table, you can see the name of the genes their brief description, the organism from where they belong, the orthologs, how many orthologs they could have, and the possible substance which are present against these genes in a zinc database, and the number of purchasable ones among them. We hope so that this information will be good for you 